Welcome back to News at Noon. I am here with Danielle Dunnigan, and she's with Meals for the Elderly. And Danielle, so you guys have a Senior Still Believe event that the community, community can take part of. Um, Let's talk about that a little bit. What's yeah. going on? So this is actually our 10th annual Senior Still Believe um, event that we partner with the Sunset Mall. Um, we go out there on November 6th and we put up a tree that has two different types of ornaments on it. Um, and it's so that the community can come out and adopt one of our seniors and their ornament and purchase some Christmas items for them so that all of our seniors receive a Christmas item on Christmas Day. That's really sweet. Um, how or what kind of gifts are these people usually looking for? So they're very basic minimalistic things. Um, so specifically with this ornament, um, Carol, she's asking for a pair of house shoes and socks. So it gives the re recipient's name, usually their gender, and um, what size they wear. And then you just pick this ornament up off the tree, you take it with you, and then when you get ready to buy those items, you bring them back to either Meals for the Elderly, um, Bob Wire and Roses, or Johnson's Funeral Home, and um, with a gift bag. We do ask that they don't wrap the gifts because we like to make sure that they got the right sizes and everything on the seniors' wish list, and then we pair it up and we do wrap them. But it's just as basic as picking up this ornament, going and buying the couple of items that are on the ornament, um, putting it in a gift bag and then dropping it back off at any of those three locations. So tell me what this means to the people that are receiving these gifts. So for our seniors, um, a lot of times our volunteers are the only ones that see those recipients throughout the day. Um, they don't have family members that live locally and um, they don't have anybody that brings them meals, much less Christmas gifts. So we believe that sen there, no senior should go um, hungry and we believe that no senior should go without a Christmas gift as well. So. We try to we try to make that happen, and um, we couldn't do it without our community. Obviously, independents can go get this, but um, San Angelo uh, Police Department has come in and adopted ornaments. Ethicon has come in, ASU has come in, Caltech, Johnson's Funeral Home. We have a lot of organizations that reach out and um, help us make this happen. So, okay, but we need people in the community, like yes. me and you, <laughs> just yeah. to go out and buy gifts for. That's right. People, so they have. So, and now yeah. tell me a little bit about Meals for the Elderly, just in general, for someone that may not know. So, Meals for the Elderly delivers 700, approximately 750 meals per weekday, um, and then to homebound seniors and disabled here in the Concho Valley and in um, the miles and outlining areas as well. So, okay, so you guys make them, right? Yep, we make them every morning fresh, um, and then we have 50 to 60 volunteers that come and pick those meals up and deliver them to each one of our recipients' homes. So um, it's not only the hot, nutritious meal that they get on a daily basis, but they get that personal contact so that we can ensure their safety throughout the day. Okay, and if someone did want to sign up for that, that all the applications and everything is on your website? Yeah, so there's um, different opportunities to volunteer. You've been volunteering, so it's good to see your face. Um, but you can volunteer in the office or you can volunteer as a driver or even a substitute driver if you're not available. We have a lot of companies that come in um, like HEB and Caltech and they adopt a route once a week or once a month and then they send an employee a different one each time so they can see what our program looks like to come out and deliver a meal. Well, thank you so much, Danielle. Thank you for having me.